642 on daybreak and tonight the Pembroke girls basketball team will tip off against Notre Dame for one of the most important games of their season. And while they are looking for a win, it's not the battle on the court that is taking center stage tonight. Yeah, this has become such a great tradition. It's the team's role in the fight against cancer. Daybreak's Heather Lee has more on shooting for a cure and the milestone that they hope to reach today. There are plenty of signs, bright pink jerseys, and pictures of past teams. But what you can't see, you can feel instead the passion behind this ever-growing fundraiser. It is more than just a game. Like we're showing our support towards like our community members, our family members, like people even in this school like who've been diagnosed with cancer. Shooting for a cure started eight years ago as a way to support the girls' basketball coach and his wife, both of whom are cancer survivors. We got a couple of Tim Hortons cans and a pink basketball and just kind of said, all right, we're going to put a game together. And before you knew it, it just took off. This year, they're on track to break the $100,000 mark. Though there's a lot of pink, typically associated with breast cancer, the money raised goes to Roswell Park in honor of people touched by all types of cancer. For senior point guard Unique Bryant, it's personal. Her mom beat ovarian cancer. The actual game part is a small part of that whole day. Halftime is the biggest part where we get to recognize those who have had cancer. And it just like is a loving, overwhelming and exciting feeling. The girls have collected auction items, sold raffle tickets and solicited donations from area businesses. Months worth of work and planning. All the community, like everybody comes together. It's overwhelming and amazing. It's a rush of feelings, honestly. We've said before, our school is so small. And we're doing so much to like give back and it's kind of crazy. These girls are proving that it doesn't matter the size of the school or the community. When you've got a big idea, you can make it happen. When you step on the court, it's not basketball. Even if we lose, it's not basketball. It's like by the end of the night when you hear that number, it's just it's so exciting. And no matter what the score is at the end of the game, these girls are winning. And of course, best of luck to the Lady Dragons tonight as they take on Notre Dame. Tip off is at seven o'clock tonight. But again, this is so much bigger than basketball. It is about supporting their school, their community, people that they know and love and, and teamwork and camaraderie. I'm told that on weekends they would all pile together in the car with their coach, go around to different businesses, solicit donations. And this has been a months long process. So not just something that they slap together right at the last second. No, and they jam pack that gym. Yes. It's unbelievable the number of people they get in there. Yes, at capacity for sure. But hopefully they can squeeze in a few more fans. If you're watching, you can make it out there tonight again, 7 o'clock. Fantastic. Good luck, girls, and congratulations.